you spend money and then you think about it later. So we are back just to catch you up with Jamie, who is a very hardworking teacher. She has found herself in the position now where she's a little bit underwater. She's about $11,000 or so in debt. We're trying to help her figure that out and make changes in her life where she could be saving instead of possibly overspending. Her weakness tends to be food and food related items. So I could certainly relate to that. So we have our frugal living expert, Lauren Grootman back with us today. So I've got three tips for you, Jamie, that I think are really gonna help you. So the first tip we're gonna do is I know you get paid once a month. So we're gonna go to paying yourself twice a month. Now you might say, how's that gonna happen? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up a second checking account within your same bank. When you get paid, you're actually gonna transfer half of that money to this separate checking account and you're gonna leave it there. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and call all of your, your bill providers and you're gonna strategically ask them. And a lot of people don't know you can do this. You can call up your bill providers and tell them you wanna reorganize where your bills are. So you wanna strategically place your bills in some in the first half of the month and some in the second half of the month. That way you're not so you know budget or top heavy with your bills. So you don't feel like all of your money is coming out right at the same time. And you feel like you have to spend, 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 and you're out of money, you know, two or three weeks into the month. Um, that way you get to the second half of the month, you're going to transfer that money from that second checking account into your primary account and give yourself a second paycheck. That way you give yourself some breathing room and you're not spending all of your money. I never knew you could do that. Yeah, so there's this thing called the Parkinson's law, and it really kind of comes into play where you spend up to the amount of money that you have. So by moving money out of that checking account, you're naturally going to be more frugal. You're going to think more about it. And so setting up that way, it's free, it's easy, you can do it all online. Okay, the second tip that we're going to do is I know that paying off debt is a priority for you, but in order to do that, we have to free up some money. So we're going to actually set a budget. Now, I'm a huge fan of cash envelope budgeting. However, I do think that it is outdated. So there's lots of money apps out there, but my favorite app, it's actually a brand new app called Cube and that's spelled with a Q, so Q-U-B-E. And what this is, is it's a digital cash envelope app. So you do your budget right inside the app. It comes with a debit card. You use the debit card and it subtracts the money out of that. Now, what does this do? It does exactly what happened when you were making these videos, which is it makes you think about your purchase instead of afterwards, okay? So it sounds to me like you're like, like me and every other American is that you spend money and then you think about it later. The reason why cash envelope budgeting works so well is because it makes you think about your purchase like now, right now. And so... By using an app like Cube, you're actually using it in the real time so that you're thinking about your purchase. You're seeing, okay, I only have $100 to spend on dog costumes this month because you don't <laughs> want to spend costumes on your dog. <laughs> and the point of budgeting is budgeting in the things that you love. You don't take them out. You budget in the things that you love. So that's important. All right. And then the third and most important thing for you, Jamie, is the eating out, right? You don't have to like stop eating out, but meal plan with freezer meals. Now I'm a, I'm a single mom of four. So half of the time my kids are with their dad. So I understand cooking for one is a little bit tedious. Like you don't want to eat the same thing over and over and over again. So I actually make freezer meals. Okay. So Rachel, you'll be proud of me because I freeze them flat just like you. Okay. Yay. <laughs> so, um, so this is a salsa chicken recipe. This is a spaghetti and meatballs recipe. Oh my God. And, okay. And this is a chili recipe. So I make these on Sundays. I make three of them. They cost me $30 to make. Oh, wow. Okay. I put one in the crock pot and then I, I eat it two times during the week. And then I freeze the other two times so that I have that for next week. You're probably going to spend less time making these than you are in drive through lines. Thank you to Jamie and Lauren. Uh, and you guys can get more of Lauren's great advice at laurengroupman.com. Just remind everybody the book. The book is called The Recovering Spender. I absolutely love that.